and it looks like it's going to have to be modified straight out of the packet, so it's what's unusual about that. Press this bearing on. much thinking about it this is the old bearing what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off um, and then I'll be left with the inner race and I can just use the inner race to push this on once it's on there there's a lip there that I can just use the bearing puller to pop this back off again and it will only be slightly on anyway so I might be able to just pop it off with my hand so yeah cut that cut that pull this off and I'll be able to use that. Nice. Ah. Uh -huh. Great. Nice new little tool. Okay. Left with that. Put that on there. Get that on there. And that should press on. Moment of truth, how tight is this thing? A little bit. That's okay. We'll use our bearing remover to just pop this off. Open this up. It really won't be on there tight. So just be able to no problem at all no damage to the bearing and I get to keep that now if that was annoying I could just just touch the inside of that with the die grinder and that would open it up a little bit just enough to so that it didn't get locked on here Perfect. All right, to press the top one in, um, I took the old one and then shaved off the edge so that it would fit in there without touching the walls. Pretty good fit. And then I'm just using a washer in the middle um, and it seems to be working pretty well. Can even use my, that thing. seated as you can see it's seated from the back too nicely very good I still have to dial check that with the dial gauge make sure it's perfectly flat but um, my guess is it will be right now this side probably have to do exactly the same thing okay, on this side same trick I got the outer race from the old bearing and shaved it down so that it fits in there now only just though very very close so that should work now I can just jam whatever I like in the middle um, and it won't damage the uh, race that I'm putting in given this a coat of uh, diff oil and I will press it in it's all slimy now I'll be using a combination of um, 
all these pieces. That's the uh, outer that I uh, sanded down, and then the other outer that I sanded down, and that in the middle like that. It can float around a bit, which is why I wanted to tap it first to make sure that it was as level as possible going in. Like that. Uh, can we use a 21? Oh, we can. Look at that. Oh, shit. Just fall over. This one I could just press in with a, with a plate if I had one. Okay. Looks to be very in. You fit? Nope. Okay, so. Add a race shave down. Fits on there so that it doesn't, so it pushes just on the outside of the the race I want to install, but doesn't touch the uh, housing. That worked well. So I'll hang on to these, and now I have uh, the equipment for next time. I hope there is no next time because that was a pain. And just a washer. Okay. Now I'm ready to remove this and I can put it on the uh, DA32W gear set, but I had to grind this out because it was pressed in too much and I couldn't get it to let go, but I ground it off nice and clean, so hopefully that will spin out without ruining the pinion, hopefully. Uh, these are torqued to like 160 newton meters, so they're really difficult to get off. At least the last one was. Anyway, let's get to this. So, I made this. Does this fit this diff? It does. Excellent. So I need some... Does that fit? No. Oh, that's not... Threaded. Wait a minute. They look like M6. They're not, are they? They're M8. M8s. There's an M8 bolt. So these work nice. Alright. Okay. Right. 22 mil. Oh no, there it is, right there. It's right here. Stop looking, I found it. Hmm. No chance. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Break a bar. Break a bar. Here we go. No. Okay, that's not going. Hmm. I might need to phone a friend. I wonder if the rat will go to look at it. I don't think it will. We'll give it a go. I don't think it will. This says 800, 580, but I don't think this is going to even look at it. Ah! Oh shit, would you look at that. Wow, well done. And my thread is in good condition. Oh yes, there we go. Beautiful. It has a use after all. There you go. Crap. Okay. Now this needs to fit on the other one and we should be good to go. The other one. DB, DA32. That is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one.
If you enjoyed the show, leave a comment. Let me know about it. If you'd like to support the show, there's ways you can do that too. Head on over to the Garage K Facebook page, click the shop tab, and there you'll find multiple items for sale. You can pick up one of my limited edition handmade key rings or sign my door with spray paint. Thanks for the support. See you in the next one. Later.